by the light of the moon. You know, I forgot about all of the crazy emotes you could do on here and fancy dances. World of Warcraft was doing it before it was cool. Suck it, Fortnite. The drums of war thunder once again. What's going on everybody? This is DM Brad with the Spoiler Alert Network and welcome back to another episode of Retro Vault, World of Warcraft Classic. So, um, basically, I went to record, got several, uh, several lengthy minutes of footage, I thought. Turns out I did not hit the record button, so <laughs> I've leveled up and done a couple things. I picked up my professions. I picked up cooking, first aid as my secondaries, then skinning and leather working as my primaries, as I had said before. Um, did a couple, did a couple quests around here, not too many, mainly just grinding, so you didn't miss a whole lot. Except uh, if you're familiar with the Night Elf starting area in Vanilla WoW, you'll remember Zen Falhoof which is a, a satyr over here in this little area who tricks you into uh, killing a bunch of animals and stuff for him and then you get in trouble with the people at Dolinar and then uh, you seek redemption by getting these weird magical pine cones and turning him into a frog so it was just a goofy little plot line that uh, we kind of missed so now we got a couple different things. We're gonna head to Starbreeze, Starbreeze Village next, but I'm gonna do some leather stuff real quick before I forget. I made myself some uh, boots already, so. See what our stats are. 33 armor, 45 armor. Leather will do me more good. The vest, I mean. So we're gonna do that. There we go. And get some more leather from some of the creatures will uh, make the bracers next. I'm going to sell a warrior. What's up? I'd like to group up with some people on doing this, but how may I help over you? You know, I am on where the fishing trainer is. Ah, I see. God is Parnassus. So that'll be a minute. So now we're going to head back to Starbreeze Village. And do some quests over there. So I was pretty much talking to myself. I mean, as you do when you're recording videos. Big leafy boy. So basically, while I was recording the last video, I kind of explained my history with World of Warcraft. Um, basically, my friend from school got me into it. He was playing a lot. I had never heard of it, except for seeing like the commercials and stuff. This was when Wrath of the Lich King came out. Saw the commercials like Mr. T and Ozzy Osbourne talking about what class and race they play. And you guys remember those? Because I do. But. So I got into World of Warcraft, I played the free trial, everything, and uh, my friend who got me into it suggested I play as a troll mage, which is like sacrilege. Nobody plays a troll mage. At least you don't see a lot of them running around, at least in classic. 
Let's do my buffs here. While I'm thinking of it. But yeah, basically I was a troll mage, fire spec. Uh, he wanted me to do raiding with him basically is why he made me do that. So my main for a long time was a uh, troll mage. Leveled him up pretty well, did some PvP. Um, so it was a fun time. What was I doing at Starbreeze? Seek out. Okay, I gotta find this guy. I gotta fight my way through all these things first. Nope, you get back here. So these are basically werebears. Gnarl pines. See, yeah, I was a troll mage for my first playthrough, then my buddy, he was, uh, he was just horde all the way. Wouldn't play as Alliance, which, like I said in an earlier video, I'm not partial to one or the other. I just enjoy the game. So after I kind of got, I don't want to say free, <laughs> but... He influenced a lot of my decisions in the game early on. Just because I trusted him and he knew the game better than I did. So, I mean, he was probably right about a lot of things, but... Um, I decided I'd try out a couple Alliance playthroughs. I, I think my... Actually, my next one before I did that was a Undead Warlock, and I loved playing as that, which I'll probably do a playthrough as a Warlock at some point. I'll do as many combinations of places and classes as you guys want me to. Back when I first played, like I said, it was during Wrath of the Lich King. So I was a couple years behind already, and same thing's happening again with WoW Classic, because everybody's playing Burning Crusade now, and I'm behind on the times. Just now starting regular Classic. There's one right there, I've just seen it. I'm gonna shadow meld. In case these others get too close. I don't wanna get mobbed here. Whatever, let's do it. So yeah, anything you guys want to see me do, or any suggestions you want to make, let me know. And also, what the? <laughs> okay, so the guy is up here. Spoiler alert, he's not doing too well, but his shadow is being cast through the floor onto the... That's interesting. There's a gnarl pine up here. I just seen his shadow because physics, I guess. He is in the line of sight. I can see him fine. Dang. Aggroed him. Oh. He's stuck again. The camera was terrible. Not gonna run away from me. Oh, he went that way. I thought he fell. Parkour. The sake of copper. Thank the forest spirits you are here. I knew 
Uh, yep. Arthritis. Arthritis. That's not his name, though. The Gnarlpine tribe has been corrupted. The once peaceful Firbolgs have been turned against the protectors at the forest. They ambushed me as I left for Bainethil. Barrow Din and proceeded to pillage Starbreeze Village. Ursul Mahler, their chieftain, is using the evil powers of the Felmos to drive them mad. I am too wounded to return to Athritis Athritis to bring him his grave news. The task is left to you, young druid. We can only hope that the deranged Gnarlpines have not made it to Bainethil yet. So we gotta go tell this guy right away. Back in Dolinar. And try to make it out of here alive. And I'm stuck. Been playing around with the action bars just a little bit. Trying to organize it different ways, whatever works. If you guys have any suggestions on how you set your action bars up, because I'm just not great at this game, let me know. Give me any suggestions. Always welcome. So we are level 8, which means we can go back to our druid trainer as well. And then we can train up some more abilities. By the stars, this is quite disturbing indeed. Narlpine invaders were seen ravaging the Ben Ethil Barrow Den to the west. The slumbering druids will be tapped in the Emerald Dream for eternity, unaware of their fate unless we help. The delicate hibernation ritual cannot be broken without the relics of wakening. Journey to the den and retrieve the Ravenclaw Talisman, Black Feather Quill, Sapphire of Sky, and Rune of Nesting. The druids store them in sacred chests. Return to me and I will prepare the awakening ritual. And I will get a new staff. Goodbye. Oh, I didn't even do that Moonwell thing yet. God, I'm an idiot. Walked right past it. And once I get to level 10, I'll unlock shape shifting and get the bear form, I believe. Which is basically just a tanky transformation. Okay, so let's grab this. Okay, that's filled. I can head back to Dolinar. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series, this collection mini-series, whatever you want to call it. If so, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what else you want to see. I'm going to be starting a Horde playthrough soon alongside this. Two birds with one stone, I guess. So let me know if you have any suggestions for what race and class you want to see from that, which I think I already know what I'm doing, but... I'm listening. Hello. Have you completed your task? After the Battle of Mount Hyjal, we were without direction. Nordrasil smoked from the fire it unleashed, and our immortality, the very essence of our beings, was lost. It was in this trying time that the Betrayer was freed from his prison, and Shando Stormrage disappeared. A dark time for all. There's another moonwell southeast of the entrance to Darnassus on the shores of the pools of Arlithrian. The sentinels are having problems patrolling the area because of attacks and the growing ill-temperedness of the Gnarlpine Firbolgs. Be wary as you seek out the well and keep your weapons close at hand. Go in. Fine. I'll do it. Let's reapply these buffs before I run down here. I am honored. I need to come down here and find somebody down here. Timberlings, elementals. Oh, these are, don't look too hard. I need to go back to the druid trainer. Idiot. 
I was just next to him, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Dumb. God. I, I seek training. I can't get rank. Oh, level 10, rank 2, moon fire. That's surprising. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Now, a lot of you are probably going to be angry that I just killed an innocent rabbit. But, you know, druids take what they need from nature. And I need leather, so... Plus, it's a game, so it's alright. Skin the toad. I was curious. Swimming, swimming. There he is. The Nalan. Greetings. You have something for me? Ah, it's here. I've waited for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it is still fresh. Thank you for bringing it to me. You are a night elf who is generous with his time. Yeah, I'll say. Thank you again. This rare earth will be very helpful in my experiments. Okay. Surprised you don't have some kind of quest for me. You do. Awesome. What brings you here? Creation of Teldrassil was a grand achievement, but now the world must shift to regain its balance. Timberlings of Teldrassil are elementals of nature. In some ways, they reflect the natural order of plants and animals on our great tree. So it is disturbing to see how angry the Timberlings have become. I believe it has something to do with the soil. I have been working on different methods of nurturing plants that would and would like to try them on Timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from Timberlings around Lake al Ameth and bring them to me? Sure. Timberling sprouts. Small Timberlings are sprouting around the waters of Lake al Ameth. I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they grow large enough to cause trouble. When you're wandering the lake, if you see any Timberling sprouts, please take them. Help clean, keep our land clean. Goddess, watch over you. And I'll get some gloves as a reward. Hooray. I guess I should track these quests. So, man is ready. Reapply the thorns. And rules. That didn't make any sense. I'm stupid. Patchwork pants. No.
not good enough for me. Could sell it. Run out of space though. Uh, what the heck? Might as well. Mage Royal. Herbs that I don't need, but I can sell. Thought about picking up herbalism and alchemy as my professions, my main professions, but for this playthrough, I wanted to do something else. I will do herbalism and alchemy on another playthrough, though. Plenty of sprouts around here. They're just asking me for way too many. Twelve is just a lot. That's just too many. It's too far away. All these fetch quests. Entangling roots helps wonders. space guys okay I need one more sprout four more seeds provided they have their seed or their yeah their seeds on them I should be able to clear that up right in this little spot here Charge the mana. Stay hydrated. Makes all the difference. Okay, that's good. seed. One more seed. I don't have enough leather yet still. seeds. Seeds, yes. 
You got them, this is good. I will plant these seeds in special soil I have prepared. I believe the seeds will sprout into timberlings who are much more docile. Perhaps later you can see the results. Wait! Can you take one of these seeds you brought me to my friend Aurelian Greenspire? He is a druid in Darnassus, and when last we spoke he revealed his interest in my work with the timberlings. He had some ideas himself, and he will appreciate a specimen of seed to work with. Oh, okay. Be careful. How may I help? That's a lot. I'm afraid they were spreading at a dangerous rate. I hope I can solve the riddle of what is tainting them. Thank you for your help. The land is a cleaner place from your efforts. I'm getting the gardening gloves. So that's all I can really use. I think those are those aren't even any better than what I have. Well, that's just a rip off. That's fine. I'll sell them. My inventory is almost full. So I need to find that den. So I need to head back up toward Dolinar to see where I need to go, and I'm going to get attacked by these. Stay there. I don't want to have to fight all these right now. That's okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, man. I can fight this guy because I, I need the leather. Increases armor value. Yeah, I'll need that. Okay, so let's keep going. Just trying to get to the road. Back to Delanar. What was I doing? Relics of Awakening. Where is this den? To the west. Okay, yeah, so I need to go this way, but I'm gonna make a stop first. We are gonna try to get to this den before the end of the video. Let's head this way to the west. What's this? Oh yeah, it's, I need to get my cooking level up. Mm. 
nice. Let's keep a walking. Man, I'm heading west ish. Oh, I bet it's that. Oh, I'm, yes. It's this way. Water. Ugh. Charge. side.
I'm dead. Oh, man. All the way in Darnassus? Told you, I am trash at this game. And I was probably going to die a few times. But hey, we get to see the wisp form in action now. I wonder how far away we are. Pretty dang far. Not that bad though. Could be worse. Resurrect now. You can heal, but so can I. Okay. Now we're in the den. Where is this guy? That was he's probably down in this corridor here. Applied here. I can't use the roots in here. There he is. Oh, good. Place is a maze. This would have been a good opportunity to group with somebody. Oh boy. Let's head in here. Shadow meld while my mana recharges.
which way to go here. We're gonna find out. Oh, I didn't see you there. Nice. now. Let me move these over here. Take that off there. I don't need that. Chest of the black feather. Need that. We are out of inventory space. Something's got to go. Let's use this to make a bandage. It's okay. We'll sacrifice some coin for Inventory space. Much needed. Let's go down this way first. Stop giving me linen cloths. I'm trying to save as much water as possible. Oh. 
different. picked up first aid and cooking even though I haven't used cooking yet oh my god was fun. Of the Raven Claw. There we go. We got better armor. Ah. Uh, so then I'm going to create the kit. Use it on the chest. Really could have used a group on this one. Would have made it a lot less painful. Oh my. Awesome. 
Awesome. Alright, guys. We will continue this quest next time. But for now, I've kept you here long enough. So I'm going to call it quits for just this very moment. Maybe I'll group up with somebody or try to level and go back to that cave. Maybe do a little better and not suck so bad. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the stuff. Be sure to stay tuned and stay dedicated.